Taytay, officially the municipality of Taytay, Tagalog, Bayan ng Taytay, is a first-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 319,104 people, it is the third most populous municipality in the country, after Rodriguez and Cainta. Conurbanated with Metro Manila, it is bounded by Cainta on the north, Pasig and Taguig on the west, Antipolo in the east and Angono on the south. While economically, demographically and politically qualified, plans to convert it into a city was set aside, pending social and administrative reforms in the municipality, the National Competitiveness Council has named Taytay as the second most competitive municipality, first and second class, since 2016 until 2017, up from 10th place in 2014 and 3rd place in 2015. In the year 2018, the municipality of Taytay jumped from second most competitive municipality to first most competitive municipality, first and second class, beating the municipality of Cainta. Taytay is one of the municipalities in the Philippines that has high financial capability with PHP 775.3 million, making it the second or third richest municipality in the Philippines in 2016. History Taytay began as a settlement situated near the Laguna de Bay that formed part of the Kingdom of Namayan whose seat of power was situated in what is now Sta. Ana, Manila. Upon the arrival of the French, the Franciscans proceeded to evangelize the inhabitants there and established a parish named Visita de Sta. Ana de Sapa in 1579. The Jesuits took over the administration of the parish in 1591. As the old settlement was prone to flooding due to its proximity to the lake, Rev. Pedro Chirino, the Jesuit parish priest at that time, moved the parish further inland atop a hill, where the present St. John the Baptist Church still stands. Along with the parish, many of the inhabitants relocated inland as well near the church. Around the same time, the Encomienda of Taytay was created in 1532, placed under the jurisdiction of the old province of Tondo. In 1853, Taytay was placed under the jurisdiction of a political subdivision later known as the Distrito Politico Militar de Morong, along with most of the towns that now comprise present-day Rizal Province. Taytay suffered heavy casualties during the Philippine-American War in 1899, with the church almost burned down and most of the town razed to the ground. On June 11, 1901, Taytay became part of the newly created province of Rizal by virtue of an Act No. 137 enacted by the First Philippine Commission. In 1903, Taytay was merged with the neighboring towns of Cainta and Angono by virtue of Act No. 942. That did not last long as Angono was separated to be merged with Binangonan later that year and Cainta became an independent town again in 1914. During the Second World War, Taytay was occupied by Japanese forces in 1942. Local soldiers of the pre-war 42nd Infantry Division of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and 4th Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary liberated and entered Taytay in 1945 to help the recognized guerrilla fighter units to defeat and attack the Japanese Imperial Army. On November 7, 1975, by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 824, which created the Metro Manila area, Taytay was among the towns that remained within the province of Rizal. Campaign for cityhood its bid was supported by the League of Cities of the Philippines and then Governor of Rizal, Casimiro Inares III. However, the cityhood campaign was set aside for the meantime, citing that there are priorities that needed to be attended to before cityhood. Geography It is situated in the province. S western portion, bounded by the grids 14 degrees 34 minutes 24 seconds north latitude and 121 degrees 07 48 east longitude. It shares boundaries with Cainta in the northwest, Antipolo in the north-northeast, Angono in the east-southeast and Taguig in the southwest. The municipality is sited to east of Pasig and to the north of Laguna Lake. It has an area of 38.80 square kilometers, 14.98 square miles, representing 3.3% of Rizal Province. S land area. The shape of Taytay is rectangular, trapezoidal with gently hilly rolling terrain on its eastern side while relatively flat on its southwestern side, including the Poblacion. 
The municipality's highest elevation ranges from 200 to 255 meters which is situated along the inner northeastern hills of Barangay Dolores, alongside the Antipolo boundary. Its lowest points are from 5 to 20 meters along the southern portion of Barangay San Juan and Muzon towards Laguna Lake. From Laguna de Bay, Pasig River runs between Taguig and Tete, Rizal, before entering Pasig. The Mangahan floodway lessens flood conditions in Metro Manila by carrying flood waters to Laguna de Bay, but contributes to flooding of the coastal areas of Taguig, Tete, and other towns in Laguna and Rizal along the lake. The municipality is principally drained by southwest trending rivers such as Tete River, Pangulo River, and Napandan Channel, all of which empties into Laguna Lake. Tete River flows across Barangays Dolores and San Isidro and joins Antipolo River, present course of Mangahan Floodway, as it passes through the southern end of Barangays Sta. Ana and San Juan. Pangulo River snakes its way from Upper Tete across Barangay San Juan towards the southern portion of Barangay Muzon. Napandan Channel crosses the southern boundaries of Barangay Sta. Ana and San Juan as it empties into Laguna Lake. Bangiad Creek, found at the southeastern limits of the municipality, flows southwest ward across Barangay Muzon, extending toward Laguna Lake. Location Tete is 20 kilometers 12 miles away from Manila. It is accessible from various points from Metro Manila through the Ortigas Avenue Extension, Manila East Road, Felix Avenue, formerly Amelda Avenue, A. Bonifacio Avenue, Mangahan Floodway, and Simulong Highway. Barangays Tete is politically subdivided into five barangays. Its capital is Burji. San Juan, is the largest area in Tete and the center of industry in the municipality. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Tete, Rizal, was 319,104 people, with a density of 8,200 inhabitants per square kilometer or 21,000 inhabitants per square mile. Local government Elected officials Mayor, Jorik Gakula Vice Mayor, Carlito Bonoy Gonzaga, NPC Councilors, Mitchell B. Bermundo, LP Jan Victor B. Cabatac, NPC Sofia Priscilla L. Cabral Archie L. Calderon, NPC Philip Jesson Cruz Ma. Jeca Villanueva Sharon de Leon, Macabibi, NPC Seferino R. Resurrecion Jr., ABC President, Joseph Z. Valera List of former mayors Seal The municipal seal is composed of a single circular arc, encrypted with the word Bayan ng Tete at the upper part and Liluigan ng Rizal at the lower part. The emblem at the center represents the town, its colors came from the Philippine flag. The left side resembles two crossed hammers and grills, represents the Tete's industrious workers while right side resembles a sewing machine and a scissor represents the people of Tete which were marked in the field of dress making. The five stars at the most upper part, represents the five barangays that composed the municipality. Finally, the scroll at the bottom part encrypted with Republica ng Pilipinas basically pertains to the Philippine Republic. Economy This town is known for its quality ready-made dresses and woodworks, earning the title Garments and Woodworks Capital of the Philippines. Today, various shops cluster in Calayan Park every Friday or in Club Manila East open space every Saturday to take the advantage of low-cost ready-made clothings. Several multinational companies have also made their presence here, which include SM Prime Holdings, Pure Gold Price Club Inc., Wilcon Builders, Megaworld Constructions and several more. Woodworks continue to be a valuable source of income among the residents of this town. 
Several carving shops continue to survive despite the threats of cheaper imported products. Taytay's local income surged to PhD 770 million first quarter in 2016, making it the second richest municipality in the province after Cainta. The economy is in transitory period from agricultural to a more pronounced commercial and industrial activities. Products Ready-to-wear clothes Doors, furniture, and other woodworks Curtains Garments Hibok Hibok Commerce and Industry Commerce and Industry is a very active economic sector in the municipality. This sector contributes a substantial income to the municipal coffers. As of late 2009s, commercial activity dominated the economic landscape with 75% of the total number of economic establishments registered with the Business Permits and Licensing Division of the Municipal Government. There are more than 7,000 commercial and industrial firms operating in the municipality. SM City Taytay is a shopping mall owned and constructed by SM Prime Holdings. It is the first SM Supermall in the province in Rizal. The mall is located in Manila East Road Taytay, Rizal. The mall consists of two buildings interconnected with a bridge featuring anchors like the SM Hypermarket, SM Department Store, SM Cinemas, SM Food Court, Watson's, SM Appliance Center, Ace Hardware and various shops and restaurants. In 2014, SM Prime announced the expansion of the mall, with a four-story mix commercial and office building set to rise in the newly acquired lot adjacent to the mall. Robinson's companies are also conducting studies for the possibility of constructing another mall in province. Coca-Cola Inc., San Miguel Breweries, Megaworld, Sta. Lucia Realty, CityMall and Ayala Land have either planned or expanded its business portfolio in Taytay citing reasons of economic viability, strong internal market and accessibility. In 2012, the town was ranked second after Cainta in the Philippines for the highest income. Club Manila East CME, is another getaway destination in the heart of the municipality of Taytay. The resort hotel has a 9,100 SQM. Fun to see Lagoon. Pool which is a scaled-down model of Laguna de Bay. The surrounding day tour cabanas, good for up to 20 persons and complete with shower and bath are named after the surrounding towns of Laguna de Bay. CME, with Philippine Surfing Academy PSA, also conducts surfing lessons in its two wave pools, the Beach Waves and the Ocean Waves. The Ocean Waves is the biggest of its kind in the country with powerful waves rising up to 1.5 meters high and through its CME Fly, a six-floor high, 360-meter long zipline, CME takes its guests to a high adrenaline level. The latest addition to the facilities of CME is the beach volleyball court. To date, CME has 70 overnight villas, and four big room dormitories. It has various seminar and function facilities to accommodate 50 to 1,000 people. And to serve the food needs of its clients, the Doña Nelia restaurant serves a wide range of Filipino and continental dishes at very affordable prices. In 2014, MySpace Properties, a megawide construction corporation subsidiary, has unveiled its newest mix use commercial and residential complex along Ortigas Avenue in Barangay San Isidro, dubbed as the Hive Malls Plus Residences. The project sits beside Baltao Compound and has a frontage of more than 100 meters. It will host several commercial establishments and residential condominiums, providing a one-stop shop for Taytayanos who need not travel more to avail of some services and commercial goods. The project kicked off this October and is expected to be completed in the next one to two years. In 2016, Taytay was named it as one of the 10 next wave cities in the Philippines making it the next hub for the Information Technology and Business Process Management BPM, sector. The location of Taytay was identified based on the 2015 assessment guided by the NWC scorecard, which includes the following criteria, talent, infrastructure, cost, and business environment. Robinson's companies are also conducting studies for the possibility of constructing another mall in the province. Coca-Cola Inc., San Miguel Breweries, Megaworld, Sta. 
Lucia Realty, Sitimal and Ayala Land have either planned or expanded its business portfolio in Taytay, citing reasons of economic viability, strong internal market and accessibility. Taytay Tiong As of 2017, there are around 10 garment center operating in Club Manila East Compound. Each garment center has hundreds to thousands of stalls selling different clothes by family-owned garment factories. Of these 10, the biggest are Taytay Municipal Tiong, Bagpai Garment Center, IGPAI Garment Center, MASUERTE 4JC Tiong and Freedom Bazaar. Each center has varying schedule of opening and closing but almost all are open on main market days of Monday and Thursday evenings. Infrastructure Waste Management Taytay has a current total fleet of only 10 dump trucks that regularly collect the garbage generated by its five barangays. Their capabilities can haul the average generated solid waste of 50 to 60 tons per day based on population. These are dumped 3 kilometers away in a valley area near the boundary with Antipolo northeast of the town center and adjacent to Rosario Memorial Park. Transportation Taytay has an existing road network with a total length of 139.666 kilometers. The two main roads cutting through Taytay and serving as the main access from Metro Manila are Rizal Avenue which leads to the Poblacion and the central business district of the town and the Manila East Road connecting from Ortigas Avenue extension which passes north and northeast of the town center. The roads meet at a junction just off the location of the new Taytay Public Market towards the adjacent town of Angono on its eastern boundary. Before World War II, Taytay was also served by a railway system. Known as the Antipolo Line, this railroad line passed through Santa Mesa, Mandaluyong, Pasig, and Cainta, going all the way up to Antipolo near the Hinalagong Toktik Falls. Apart from a street named Dangbakal. In Antipolo, no traces of this line presently survive especially in the Cainta and Taytay areas where the railway tracks used to be as roads have been paved over them. Today, the town's transport needs are served by tricycles, jeepneys, taxis, buses, and UV express services, many of which serve to link the town to Metro Manila where many of the town's citizens work and study. Power The provision of efficient power services is the linchpin of productivity any area that envisions itself to modernize, to be more productive, and its product competitive needs to have ample power supply to engine its growth and development. It has been recorded that Taytay is the third largest user of power among the towns of Rizal, which all have been energized and served the Maralca. This makes Taytay a town with sufficient power for domestic use. Added to this is the presence of a substation of the National Power Corporation in Barangay Dolores. Communications Communication is another major and key infrastructure component. Its ample availability in an area is one of the essential requisites for economic progress and social integration. Currently, majority of the communication needs of the people of Taytay are being served by the Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company PLDT, with some availing of cellular phone and paging services. The number of telephones of the town is far beyond the minimum of one telephone line per 1,000 residential population and also a single telephone line per 1,500 population in industrial areas. The town operates a telegraph services unit which issues an average of 116 transmissions and 5,483 telegrams of all kinds per month. Taytay can be reached by all radio and television stations. Printed communications such as newspapers and magazines are distributed from Metro Manila. Medical and health care the provision of primary health care is being undertaken by the Municipal Health Office which provides medical services to the municipal's five barangays. Taytay has seven health units with a total of 40 barangay health centers. These are commonly staffed of doctors, nurses, dentists, midwives, etc. 
only Taytay Emergency Hospital which is based at the Office of Municipal Health Officer at the Municipal Hall has daily schedule of medical services from Mondays through Sundays, 24 hours a day. The other units are on scheduled basis. The services offered by these hospitals and clinics to the municipal and provincial residents include outpatient treatment, child delivery, EENT treatment, surgery, internal medicine, pediatric, obstetrics and gynecological treatment and diagnosis of social diseases. Some of the hospitals in Taytay are Taytay Emergency Hospital and Manila East Medical Center MEMC, and the new Taytay Doctors Hospital. Educational Institutions Public Secondary Schools Antonio C. Esguera Memorial National High School Benjamin B. Esguera Memorial National High School Casimiro A. Anair Sr. Memorial National High School Manuel the I Santos Memorial National High School Muzon National High School Simona National High School Taytay National High School State Colleges Polytechnic Colleges of the Philippines, Muzon, Taytay State University University of Rizal System, Force, Taytay Campus Private Secondary Private Colleges Dayhan College of Business and Technology Trent Information First TIF, Technical Career Institute, Inc. Taytay National College of Business and Arts NCBA, Taytay, Rizal Notable People Alice Dixon, actress, Philippines representative for Miss International in 1986 Tony Gonzaga Soriano, actress, singer, TV host. The ultimate multimedia star. Alex Gonzaga, TV host, blogger, actress, comedian, book author. Rachel Ann DeKees, volleyball athlete. Zyriel Manabat, child, teen actress. Andrea Brillantes, child, teen actress, dancer, BFF 5 of ASAP. John Lucas, teen actor, dancer, rapper, former member of hashtags of It's Showtime. Oliver Barbosa, chess grandmaster. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System